How did you not see this coming? My God, we came this close. The old man could have buried us all. Our families. Do you think you feel more betrayed than I do? Get some perspective, please. Janus is dead. Lucas Gray is about to join him. And a cornered animal is twice as dangerous. Let's be perfectly clear. We were not exposed. The threat is neutralized. We are back on track. Even so, from this point on, we expect you to take- No, there is no way I'm doing that. How can you question my loyalty? In case treachery is contagious. Do you really want to do this to me? Is there a problem, Secretary? No problem whatsoever, Madam. Here's to loyalty. My man on the island confirms that the Constant has arrived. We head out at sundown. Here, in case the crew get ideas. Why are you doing this, Mr. Gray? You had a chance to walk away. Why didn't you? A year ago, I'm working security for this banker, Cobb, only to find out he's a Providence operative. I'd been running for decades, only to wind up where I started. We've all got barcodes on the back of our heads. Most people just never notice. 47 told me about your parents. How did they die? Car bomb. Surrey, 1989. Company named Blue Seed didn't care to pay for their mistakes. But I like to think no one's untouchable. I'm... I'm sorry for your loss. You feel it, don't you? Unlike him, you feel it all. Everything you've done. It's a dangerous thing, having a conscience. Attention, gentlemen. Our source on the island just made a critical discovery. The Constant has a poison chip embedded in his neck. A failsafe, in case he's compromised. Damn it. Uh, we should have expected something like this. So, we subdue the Constant before he has time to react. Not that simple. The device is remote triggered, and during his stay on the island, two kill switches have been entrusted to twin sisters Zoe and Sophia Washington, two young, ambitious Providence operatives and newly appointed chairwomen of the Ark Society. Apparently, even the Constant is unaware of this arrangement. Right, change of plans. We divide and conquer. 47 takes out the Washingtons while I figure out a way to get the Constant off the island. It'll be tight, but once we're back at the ship, we should be able to surgically remove the chip before the partners have time to react. 47? Tell me about the targets. I know them from the archive. Zoe and Sophia's father is president of a powerful conservative think tank one of Providence's prime assets. The apples don't fall far from the tree. No saints either. According to ICA files, the twins are pampered socialites who get their kicks from treasure hunting. Commanding a band of trigger-happy mercenaries, Zoe and Sophia prowl the world in search for ancient relics. With little regard for local culture or even human life, they stop at nothing to claim their prize. Well, collateral damage they may be, but safe to say, they have it coming. The 
Isle of Skin. Headquarters of the Ark Society. Founded by Janus in 1991, the Ark Society is the world's most exclusive club. Its plutocratic members fear the downfall of civilization. And they are willing to pay huge sums to ensure their own survival. Once a year, they gather here to shop the latest survival products and to showcase new initiatives. Right. These gatherings are shrouded in mystery, so we have limited intel on what to expect on the other side of the walls. The Washington Twins are hosting their first annual gathering as chairwoman of the Art Society, and the Constant is known to attend every year. Beyond that, no one will Good luck, children. I dare say you're going to need it. Ah, one more, I see. Won't you join us, sir? We were just about to begin. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. And welcome to the annual gathering of the Ark Society. As Ark patrons, you are welcome to explore the castle grounds. However, certain areas are off limits, including the keep, which houses the members area, convention space, and council meeting. Should you wish to apply for Ark membership, please be aware that such cannot be bought, only earned. All said? Excellent. Follow me, please. What do you think? Well, you weren't kidding. This place is pretty epic. Where are we anyway? I'm not sure. Some old knightly stronghold. The architects use it all year round for ideation purposes, but tonight's the only time the rest of us get together. So, you decide on what to buy from the catalogue? One of the bunkers, for sure, and I'm curious about the cryo facility. I think you're gonna like it here, Logan. For a seven-digit tuition fee. Not better. What else? Uh... Ah, yes. Zoe Washington, one of our newly appointed chairwomen, has prepared a brand new official ceremony scheduled to take place in the upper court garden. A stirring ode to rebirth and the enduring spirit of mankind. I believe that is it, ladies and gentlemen. Please enjoy your evening. The bar is right up ahead. Sir. What's with that weird bird effigy? It's the annual Phoenix ceremony. It symbolizes the collapse of civilization from which the Ark Society emerges unscathed and triumphant. Ah, rebirth. I get Interesting. it. Zoe Washington is going to partake in a ceremony symbolizing the downfall of civilization from which the Ark Society will emerge unscathed. Apparently, a giant Phoenix-shaped effigy is set on fire with Zoe inside it. Well, I suggest you locate this master of ceremonies who lights the Fire 47. If this doesn't sound like an accident waiting to happen, I don't know what does. What's new is that the master of ceremonies will light the effigy on fire with Zoe Washington inside. Huh. A bit showy, wouldn't you say? Hey, whatever so.
Huh, strange. What? Oh, what a shock. What? Somebody! <gasps> Look here, I'm an ARC patron, and that means I pay your wages. Minuscule as they are, so step aside. Let me think. Hmm. Let's see. No. of an NDA. And it's not just the legal shit. I mean, we could both end up on the bottom of the sea if I even thought about opening my mouth. Yeah, my parents asked a lot of questions to begin with. Not like a lot of freaking questions. But then I got this huge outdoor jacuzzi for them, and they shut the fuck up. Seriously, I'll, I'll pay you. Me? But you're the master of ceremonies. I'm a multiple Tony award-winning playwright. And famously reclusive. It's part of my brand. I never go on the spot like this. Besides, I do chamber plays. No, no, spectacle. What if people hate it? Shit, they hate it. They won't hate it, Mr. Benninger. It's just entertainment. Entertainment? Oh, good 
Lord, what have I done? How did I let her talk me into this? Should I tell Miss Washington that you won't be going on stage? Uh, everyone's waiting for you. God, no. No, she frightens me. Just, uh, just, just give me a moment to control my nerves. All right, Mr. Feniger. Break a leg. I, uh, I saw some suspicious activity. A handsome pledge, and yet a drop in the ocean. Zoe Washington, the Ark Society recognizes you as our founder's rightful successor, our inspiration, our guiding light, the custodian of our future. Excellent work, Forster. Enjoy the spotlight. Patrons of the Ark Society, you are part of a select, chosen few. Our founder, Janus, showed us how to survive. But survival is not enough. 
We must live and we must soar. The Ark Society must not only commit itself to survival, but to progress, be it our next home in the stars or the next step in human evolution. This is the eternal purpose of the elite. Not just to lead, but to lead from the front. When the time comes and all comes tumbling down, when mankind retreats once more into caves of superstition, we will keep the fire alight. We will be the torchbearers, the trailblazers and pioneers. Do, do not feel guilty for your privilege. Be proud, be fearless, for the future is ours to shape. As the world burns, we rise from its ashes, not just to survive, but to live. say it belonged to Montezuma himself. It was lost for over 500 years, well, until Blake Nathaniel unsealed the serpent's tomb. Extraordinary. It's a flippin' necklace. Anyway, the Washington twins found it first. The way I hear it, Sophia literally has the necklace in her hand when Nathaniel repels from the ceiling, triggers this ancient death trap, and, you know, murder and mayhem ensues. But I thought those two were lovers. Oh, no, no currently way off, which explains the added security. I don't follow. Think about it. Why the need for an alarm system? Where so, according to its charter, the Ark Society collects priceless art and historical artifacts in case of a global disaster. And this year, world-famous treasure hunter Blake Nathaniel has donated an Aztec necklace called the Cloud Serpent to the Ark Society's growing collection. However, Blake fears that Sophia Washington his former lover and rival, who has hunted the Cloud Serpent for years, will attempt to steal it for herself before it goes into storage. Hmm, it could be just the bait we need. They're all filthy rich, except... I see. Blake thinks Sophia might try and steal back the necklace before it's sealed in the Ark of the Legacy. Good grief. I want her among thieves, huh? I'm sorry. Evening. Sorry, sir. This is staff only.
get the hell up, or I'll knock you down permanently. Someone went down in that cave. He saw us cut down a dozen on our tribe. Providence's top controller. Everything depends on capturing him alive. Smooth, 47. The Sparrow's got nothing on you. Hmm. I have no idea what I'm doing. Just hope this works. Ta da City of that one. You! Mr. Nathaniel? What am I looking at? Why, that's the... Oh, my. But... It's gone. It can't be. What, the alarm is... Expertly disabled, I assume. But... There was someone here the whole time. And besides, stealing from the Order? No Ark member would be so foolish or disrespectful. Patrons, neither. Maybe one of the custodians took it to be polished, or... Oh, no, no, no. I know exactly what happened. Or who happened. You do? Who's the culprit? You wouldn't believe me if I told you. All right, I'll take care of this. Back to work. Or whatever the hell it is you do around here. Command? Yeah. I'm gonna need some backup over the gallery. Have a good evening, sir. Hmm, let's see. I trust you for sportsmanship, yada, yada, yada. Really, Sophia, what a sore loser you are.
amount of negligence. Doesn't make sense to me. We're running a multi-billion operation here, but we can't get a decent fair and damn I'm sorry, sir. I'm afraid this air only. Day to you, sir. Screw you, Blake. Sophia. Blake? I almost didn't recognize you without a knife in my back. I messed up. I see that now. Can we talk? <laughs> this should be good. Follow me. Let's give Sophia her heart's desire, shall we? You've got one minute. I did wrong by you, Sophia. I see that now, and I want to make amends. Here, this is rightfully yours. Well, well. Look who comes crawling back. Leave us. You know, we lost three men because of you. Wickus was crushed by a rolling boulder. Jaco fell into a pit trap. And Zoe and me? We only escaped the arrows by using one of the local guides as a human shield. Now, this is a nice gesture, but it doesn't even begin to make amends. I know. May I? Fine. But not too tight. You know, I thought about sending the boys after you. Grab the necklace and cut your throat ear to ear. You probably wonder why I didn't. The truth is... You beat us, Blake. I don't deny it. And I can't very well get even if you're dead. So, consider yourself warned. Both targets down. Impressive work, 47. And now, to confront the Constant. Mr. Gray, what's your status? I'm at the helicopter, but the place is crawling with security. 47, you better bring the Constant to the harbor where it's less crowded. You can hijack one of the Archean boats. Question is how? He's not likely to come quietly. Unless you get your hands on a kill switch. Yes, that might just work. Search one of the twins, 47. The Washingtons are dead. I have the kill switch. What did you say? How could you know about that? You will head towards the harbor. No sudden moves. No signs or warnings. Shit, I will trigger the device. I need to. I repeat, I'll be sure. Move. Partners no more, I take it. I had a notion something didn't sit right with my mentor's betrayal. You murdered him, I take it, to get to be. Not just that. He had it coming. Interesting. It was my impression that you were cured of such sentiment. The good doctor built his serum specifically to target the seats of your emotions. As Miss Burnwood's sense of justice rubbed off on you, I wonder. Just keep walking. And area is all clear. Over. 
Sir, hope you're well. For what it's worth, Janus always found Wartmeyer's project distasteful, not to mention inefficient. Their last respect. But alas, sometimes you have to play the hand you're dealt. Oh, I know. Take it, this is not an ICA-sanctioned operation. What exactly does Miss Burnwood plan to achieve by targeting your clients? Violating her own code? She's doing it for us. Us? I don't mind him seeing her. Oh, I see. The penny drops. I should have known. How does a man leave no trace? By not existing in the first place. Lucas Gray, or was it Subject 6? He died when the Institute went up in flames, but no body was ever produced. And unlike you, his rage never faded. So, now you want the partners, the men behind the curtain who have caused you all this pain? Well, before you go knocking down a wall, you better make sure it's not low. Enough talking. You'll do plenty of that later. We're here. Get on the boat. Mr. Edwards, still think this is maintenance. Oh, Miss Burnwood, what have you done? Changing horses midstream? Truly unprofessional. You know what we want. Where is the carrot? No carrot. You're useless to the partners. Compromised. Even if we let you live, you can never return. Why die protecting them? When I can drag them down with me. It's a bad hand, but it's all you've got. Three families. That's all it took. The Ingrams, the Carlyles, the Stuyvesants. Three dynasties secretly pooling their resources over generations, creating a singularity so dense that nothing escapes its gravity. Never heard of them. Well, they've heard of you. In fact, you just became the top of their agenda. Go. We can't give them time to retaliate. Don't take your eyes off him. Be careful. Well, 
Here we are again. I must admit I am disappointed, Miss Burnwood. I had such big plans for you. Save it. I know the truth now. You're outplayed. You have nothing left to bargain with. <laughs> you are so certain. So sure of the people closest to you. He never fails, does he? He never misses his mark. You found a window into his past. And yet, something else remains hidden. A simple truth you learned long ago. Diana! Coming! No one, Miss Burnwood, is untouchable.